Mixed media is nothing more than combining different materials and techniques. And we'll paint this beautiful flower bouquet together in two ways. Let's combine different mediums with watercolor paints in this fun project. I'll show you how to draw and paint this small floral bouquet with two techniques. And first, we will combine pigment liners and watercolors. And second, we will do the base layer in with watercolors and add some details with watercolor pencils. If you face problems with the sketch, feel free to download the template at stedler.com. All the materials I'm using today are also linked in the description box below. But before we start, I want to show you how to transfer a template on your watercolor paper. I've already printed out my template and now I shade the back side of my template with a really soft pencil. Next, I turn the page and place it on top of my watercolor paper. And because I don't want it to move, I'll take uh, a little bit of tape and fix it. Now I take a lot uh, harder pencil and start tracing the outlines of my template. Before you remove the template, you can have a look if really all outlines have been traced and you're ready to go. First, I'm using the pigment liner in size 0.5. And the color is black, but they also come in, uh, in a lot of colors. I love them because they are water resistant and you can go over it with watercolors and nothing will smudge. And they also come in different sizes. So you can do really small details and also fill in some um, bigger things just with a bigger tip. I'm tracing the outlines. You don't have to fill in everything perfect because I think it really looks great if this is like a, a little bit doodly and scribbly look. Now I use my watercolor paints and I've already squeezed them into the palette. And a round brush in size eight to create the first layer for this side and also add the color details on this side. But let's start on the left side. And it's also okay if you do it in a very loose way and just paint some splashes and circles because we will go in with the watercolor pencils and create depth and definition. I start with this move color and add it to this side of the painting. I'm just dabbing my brush onto the paper to create these small, really small petals. And I use a lot of water. I use the same technique to do this kind of lavender. Just a few dabs and I use my brush almost like a stamp. Now I use a really light uh, magenta and I can add a lot of water so I get 
a light color or I can add a bit of um, white. Now I'm painting the petals of this bigger, bigger flowers with just starting with the tip at the center of the flowers and pushing it outside, filling my whole circle with petals. I add a center with an ochre color or maybe a touch of yellow and do some dots. Next I'm going to paint the small roses and I'm taking a lot of white and also ochre and a touch of magenta to create this really pastel color. I paint a wobbly circle and release some darker pigments, for example, magenta, into the middle. And also I can, I can work wet on wet on the outside of these flowers. It's really loose and you'll see that it will look completely different when we go in with our watercolor pencils. I'm adding some leaves. And I used two different greens, one darker and a lighter one with more yellow in it. I also like to add a little bit of ochre or a warm brown to my green to mute it a little bit down. And I add some blue dots or small strokes for the smallest flowers. I'm using exactly the same colors like on this side. And I can re work really loose um, because we already laid down our outlines. And so, yeah, you are free to use whatever colors you like and also work over your lines. You don't have to be exact. It's just a splash of color. you can work very precise then you would have to take a smaller brush and you can go in and color everything uh, the way you want. I'm finished with this side and now we're going to add details to this side and I think everything is dry so we can work over it and go over it with our watercolor pencils. There are so many colors to choose from and you can either find the perfect match for your watercolor paints or you can go in with a slightly different color. Feel free to be creative and try things out. I try to do some, some outlines. For this kind of rose, I just create the petals with some uh, cloudy brush strokes. <laughs> and if you don't like it, uh, you can go in with water and dilute it so you won't see the lines. This is the perfect way to try things out. I also draw small lines and indicate some, some veins. And I love to add more colors to the center of the flowers because it makes it look more natural. Mm -hmm. 
You can also add some leaves just with outlines. As a final step, I'm using the metallic pen in gold and just do it to color in this um, ribbon. And add a few dots here and there. And we are ready. Of course, there are many ways to combine watercolor paints with different mediums. These are only two possible combinations of watercolors. Let me know in the comments which one you like more.